Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG, I'm Sovereign today, we're going to be playing a bit of Frostpunk 2, it's the release day on the 20th of September and we're going to be running through the story, I'll be doing a full series on this, if you'd like to see my content make sure to put down a like and chuck down a comment, let me know what you think about Frostpunk 2 if you've already played it and then we can just jump straight into it, we're just going to jump straight into the story mode. Maybe we can do some Utopia stuff at a later date. We've got a lot of things that we can be getting through. Um, I, I have played Frostpunk in the past, but it's not something that I'm massively, like, astute at. Oh, hello. Guy's got a lovely set of glasses. Can you hear us? Captain! Captain! Do you hear us? A generation ago, we fled the crumbling British London together. United, we survived 30 years of white lies. But the world around us is dead. Looks pretty dead to me, to be fair. Definitely gonna need a couple of cups of tea during this playthrough. It's gonna be freezing. Right, let's see what it's got to show for us. I haven't played Frostpunk 2 yet. I haven't watched anything on it. I've been waiting to see how it goes. The Wanderer's Prologue. We've been roaming the frozen desert for years. Many of us do not remember our world before the Great Frost. Now another white hour is coming. And again, we've reached the old machine. Again, we will rely on its furnace to provide heat through the storm. In the past, we always made sure there were enough supplies for the next whiteout. But our numbers have grown through the years. Providing for everyone is getting harder and harder. We must survive. This is hopefully... Oh, there's another little bit of a cinematic. It looks pretty damn sexy though, like the, the graphics are pretty damn good. And I definitely had, I remember having a really good time with the first Frostpunk. I'm hoping it's not going to be too dissimilar to it, because games when they do like, uh, I've like, I've forgotten what it's bloody called, sequels to games, kind of ends up being a little bit like overdone. They kind of add too much to what's already good about a game and it kind of convolutes the fact that it's already good. So fight the cold. The old dreadnought remains in pieces under layers of snow, but the scattered wagons still have resources inside. First, we must break the ice to reach one of the oil wagons and construct an extraction district to use it. Then we can turn on the dreadnought's furnace to heat us. We will restart the furnace. So we're going to go into the building mode. That's still similar to what we had in the first... Oh, can we go that far? Can we go a little bit further? I'm going to just do that out. We'll get all this cleared out. Speed it up just a little bit. And then we'll put down the... What's the short key for that? B. Okay, so he has... We'll just stick a construction down here. We'll have this close. We probably do need to put down a housing district at some point. Um, we might just... Mm, I think I'll wait until we get to the prefabs are down here. If prefabs are down here. We can put a little extraction district in here just to get these bad boys out we can have it all connected or try to have it connected because i th have a feeling that the heat is actually gonna do we want to we don't want to build that far out let's just clear all this stuff out and we might be able to put some housing districts along the extractions over here uh housing districts let's try can we put you guys do 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 Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to get much heat from that. But we haven't turned it on yet, so we will speed it up a little bit. 
So hopefully this guy's just going to start banging out the oil here in a second and we have enough. Uh, as thick black liquid oozes through the pipes, our people rejoice. The carcass of this old machine is a testament to the hardships that made us. But more importantly, it's our haven in the storm. It has allowed us to weather and many whiteouts and will do so again. We have oil. We can turn on the furnace. Select the dreadnought wreck and access the furnace control. And we can turn it on. Generator on. There we go. And now it's on. We have got this currently building. We might need to build out here a little bit provide basic infrastructure i accidentally clicked that off so it is asking us to build housing now we need to build two housing districts so let's uh actually let's pause that real quick we'll build another one we do need to clear out some more of this it did clear it out ah it's frost breaking still uh i'm gonna start clearing out towards this food down here this looks like this will be food that's fertile soil Let's try and get this all ice covered out. We might be able to spare some heat over there. Let's slow it down. I don't want to be speeding through it too much. Housing district. Uh, let's add some over here. There's not going to get heat there. We'll get some heat here though. Let's see if we can go all the way around. I'm not going to get too much heat. Plus 20 heat. We're still going to get a bit of heat there. So there's the two housing districts we've got building up. Let's get those set up and then hopefully we got some registered as sick sick and injured workers increases proportionally to how high disease currently is injured okay let's have a look at the workforce real quick where's the workforce workforce we've got two sick 300 in extraction district minus 200 in housing that's what's being used to build right now i have a feeling we're going to need to get this oil soon but i'm gonna head down a little bit closer towards this food down here and i think i'm gonna cut down through this way as well and can we not why can i not ah because i haven't frost broken that little bit yet gain access to food we have established some heat and shelter for our people we must now turn our attention to the incoming whiteout first we must frost break to small patches of fertile soil suitable for growing food then we must store it in easily accessible depots we must move quickly so no one starves uh we're already on the way to doing that oh we can turn it around it isn't stuck on the axis that's pretty damn nice actually uh we will we have the two housing districts do we need more housing districts I'm going to wait until we get some more prefabs. We need some more scraps, actually. That's going to be growing through. Let's just get this frost breaking done. And get this food on the go. Uh, food district down here. Can we place you down? Yes, we can. Uh, we'll place you here and here. Um, where's the prefabs? There's oil. There's prefabs over there. So what we can do now is actually go up and frost break on two fronts and head over to get these materials and then we could also head down this way and meet up around the side maybe we can ice block some stuff because there's some oil here we may need that more we've for a while we secured our immediate survival now we have to stockpile as much food as we can before the white out forces to take shelter to do that we need to produce more food than our current demand we're on it we're on it can we build now a uh, food district let's build a little food district here for sure uh we can start breaking the ice over towards these materials and try and grab some more materials over there we do need to get some more prefab though that's for sure uh we've got a little bit what's this popping up we might not be able to fill food stockpiles without exceptional measures consider asking the wanderers to tighten belts or instill emergency shifts in the food districts okay how do we do that then indeed instruction uh let's pause real quick uh we should probably put should we do it i think we should we've only got 410 how many does it cost to make the extraction of the oil 70 prefabs so that's 140 i don't know what's this here what we got what's that popping up over there Affecting other districts. 70, 40 pre, 140 pre-maps remaining. So we do need to go and grab that. So what's this icon? Resource deposit nearly depleted. Okay. Right. Let's have a quick look. How are we looking on this front? We've got hunger miner. We do need to... We are building a food district over here. 
Let's just speed that up a tad. Do we want... We want to create... We will collect some of this, but we're going to actually start trying to head over to this district over here. We can go through this oil and head over towards the prefabs we got over here. There's a lot. We're not stockpiling food. We will do very shortly. We're starting to stockpile our food now. Let's spread out a little bit. So we need to carry on. We need to grab those prefabs. Before I start building anything else, I want to grab these prefabs. And let's head over towards this farm. So we can get the food built up. What do we have here? Squalor. Squalor means your citizens have endured polluted air and overwhelming dirt and filth. Squalor raises when there are not enough materials to meet demand for the maintenance of the city. We got we got materials going up. I'm pretty sure we do. So let's go and have a quick butchers over here. Let's uh, frost break our way to this area and then have it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We don't want to go that far. We can start heading over towards this food patch. Just about off there. Do we have... Right, so we have some oil here. We are almost at the prefabs. This one's running out very soon. What's that? There's a thingy on top here. Against the elements. Each day the wind grows fiercer, relentless, it beats against our buildings. We can our structures gust by gust. Without raw materials to repair damage of this six. The more we build, the more materials we will need. This is the world we know. Provide more materials to reduce squalor before it. Promise to gather more materials. Um, I'm gonna do that. Because we are about to unlock it. Let's focus on food. Good work. We are now gathering enough materials to make that <laughs> okay. That was jumped in. Relations improve and are causing our trust to rise. It did pop up just a little bit. So let's have a quick look. We're going to get some more of this to get our squalor out. We do need more food. But I'm going to build the extract. Is it not frost breaking? It's not. So what can we extract right now? Prefabs. Let's get those prefabs down. This guy can get deleted soon. We're going to grab some more oil, I think. Let's grab that up. Uh, we still have 322. We got scraps. Only 22 incoming per week. Uh, Titan belts. Enforce emergency shifts. Emergency shifts. Uh, trust falls slightly. The slightly? That's a hell of a lot of trust that just dropped there. Slightly my ass. Right. Frost breaking is done there. Let's get a f uh, extracting district here. Uh, did we make it to the food? We did. No, we didn't. We didn't make it to the food. Let's break our way through that pop our way down here to meet up with the other food over here and get more food building because we've got 2,000 out of 40k what's going on over here we've got a little questy majiggy thingy majiggy one of our frost breaking uncovered the frozen remains of a man in tattered uniform his shoulder patch reads new london scouts third platoon and he bears an obscure insignia some of our elders claim it belongs to a military organization while others argue is a religious significance um i'm definitely not going to be doing anything to do with religion it's not my cup of tea so we'll definitely go with some order there we've got the ore this place is being is finished so we can actually demolish this district now we'll get rid of that We've almost got this free. This one's built. Regist two is registered as sick. Can we build another? Should we? Let's ice break down to this food here as well. Do we need more housing? We we are running low on the workforce, to be honest. Um, how many we got? We got two hundred and ninety. We need to build more food districts. Let's grab this one up. Boom another food district we haven't got enough workforce hmm mm -mm -mm -mm. what do we have here i went over because some people are ready to sacrifice themselves to lower the food requirement that's the kind of thing i'm looking for uh what do we have we can break this down that's going to free up some workforce over here hopefully what do we have here Seals, I can't believe my eyes. We haven't seen them since before the Great Frost. How did they survive? There's enough meat there to feed everybody. We're saved. But should we slay them if the Lord spared them from the end of the world? Dunno, man. I'm all about preserving. Like, we can take the food, but we should be preserving that. Right, we do have a significant amount of... Uh, let's chuck this down here. Do we need... What else do we have? We've got another food here, but we haven't got enough workforce. Can I? I can't build a housing district. We don't have the prefabs and scraps, so we've got to wait. Housing district. Here we go. Uh, let us. Uh, but 
look, can we not do that over here? Let's get out of that way and we can do... No, we haven't... Do we have enough space? We'll just build it towards this way. Build another housing district. Hopefully that gives us a little bit more on the food front. We've got 47 weeks left and we're 5k in. Optional place of food on the silk colony. Yeah, we're going to do that. Cold season, demand, heat demand is increased. How's our heat looking? We're cold, absent, growing, extremely increased by heat scarcity. But we're doing okay for heat, no? There's a lot of oil still remaining there. Uh, base demand, 20, minus 20 heat demand from Dreadnought Wreck. Okay. Ooh, we do need a significant amount of output. Fuel mixed in. Let's... Can we build another? We can't build another extraction, extraction district just yet. Prefer preserving food for the while. Our stores are almost full. Okay, we need to build food stockpile hubs. Can we build any of you? We'll build you down here for sure. There we go. Uh, can we build another one? What do we need? It still needs 100 workforce. We're really out of workforce right now. We're at 10,000 food with 41 weeks remaining. The wind's getting colder. It's coming. Do we put some emerge? We got... Is that going to pull us down? We're accepted still. Is that going to drop us any more? It is going to drop us a little bit more. We're tolerated right now, but emergency shifts need to be done for extra food. And let's get cracking on. We're at 13k. It just did a quick save. We need some more heat. We might have to stick the generator on overdrive for a little bit. So it grabs us some more. Let's see what... A while draws near a sacrifice. People in the camp are getting tense. They worry we won't gather enough food in time. Our hunters propose to slaughter the remaining seals, including pups and females. This will allow us to grab much more food, but will wipe out what could be the last colony of creatures on Earth. However, many elders have volunteered to walk for an... I'm not going to slaughter the seals because that kind of feels bad. Like, it's not that we're killing seals because seals are seals, food and all that. We're all dying and stuff. It's definitely okay. But, um... I'm more on the side of let our elders go. Spe thinking logically, I'm just going to go with that. We're going to get rid of that. Oh, it dropped a significant amount, half of the food, and we just let our 500 elders go. It doesn't affect the workforce. Opens up some more housing for us. Let's speed it up a little bit. We're, like, really close now. Like, we're, we're not even going to... We're not even going to run out anywhere near. Deadly cold. Due to some cold, some people are frozen to death. But we've got everything. The heat should be going up okay food secured we did it we scored enough food to survive the incoming whiteout our workers will make some last minute preparations before the storm arrives we should try and keep our people warm before this time now we wait okay what have we got here trainee seamstress granny's gone for a long walk she'll say she'll see her again one day the elder sacrifice is greatly reduced lovely amount of food required for our survival kind of feel like i'm getting some like covid flashbacks there all right, let's delete this guy. We don't need you anymore because you've run out of resources. What do we have here? Into the black, burying the dead. As is our custom, we take the to the oil pit. Stress and relations fall every time people die. We don't want that. We don't need to have these guys on over emergency shifts anymore. So let's get our... They're gonna, we're going to be loved a little bit more. We have more than enough food. Let's concentrate on heat. How much do we have over here? Uh, we still need more heat. Uh, we will try and grab... Do we not have enough for an extraction district? No. We need more oil. I think maybe that will help us go up. But what do we need for that? 150 workforce. We're 149. This will break down and we should get a decent amount of workforce from that. I feel that heats us up just a tad. Come on. Is it gone? So where's our workforce? No? That should have been deleted. They worked before. Two registered are sick. We don't need anyone dying right now. Food stop our hub. We don't need it, but we do need the extraction. Does this demand 40 heat? So maybe we just have too many housing districts. Maybe we only need one. Uh, How much is this? What's this here? Let's drop this down. How much heat is demand? Requirements. 60 workforce from housing district okay let's drop it down and that gives us a little bit more to make the extracting district here so we can get more oil 
We've only got 16 weeks left. And our food stockpile is full anyway. What's this? What does that mean? Greatly decrease efficiency. Okay. We don't really need it anyway. Should I just delete that? I think I just built an extra one for literally no reason. Let's just delete that. Gen generator overdrive is at dangerous level. Let's turn it off. Turn it off. Off. Shit. I forgot to pay attention to it. I was too busy doing other stuff. How many people died? The whiteout is here. Okay, we're already here. We've already got through. I think we survived, apart from the fact that overdrive is at a dangerous level. That was not good. Are we going to survive? Ooh, it does a little overview of what you've built and what it looks like. That's pretty damn cool, to be fair. Let's see what it says. Survival through sacrifice, the wanderer's survival. When the white owl hit the camp, the wanderers were ready. At least those who remained were. They huddled together while howling winds buffeted and rested hull. With a colony of seals to hunt responsibility for years to come, the wanderers feel confident about their future. No trace was ever found of those who volunteered to walk into the forest. Some say they walked straight across the snow through the gates of paradise. The wanderers emerged shaken but determined to continue their journey. They pray for the day the white out stopped. The storm the storms are fewer and further between. Maybe one day their prayers will be answered. Lovely. We survived the end of the world. First section complete. That's nom noms. Let's see if it jumps us straight into the next part of the story or if it I have to just click the next part. Now what? Question mark. I'm guessing we're gonna jump straight into it. It's pretty damn cool. We can continue on. Hopefully the next one's a little bit of a bigger one. I mean it was just a prologue, so I'm guessing that was just why it was like that. What do we have over here? Let's have we got a lot of coverage. From what I can see so far. So we can build housing districts in between. Should. Ooh. Love it. Look at that. Beautiful. I love the aesthetic. It's kind of cyberpunky, but not massive amounts. And I love the way that the... You can see, like, the cars and stuff. I guess it's cars. I'm not sure what that would be, to be fair. We've got some hot air balloons sitting over there at the top of the corner. That, that looks more like Frostpunk, right? People yearn for the future. We're dreaming, but is the same future. But is it the same future for all? Hmm. That's going to be to do with the fact that we need to make a lot of choices. Keep the city together. Okay, let's see what it's going to be planning for us. Or hold its hand on its deathbed. I love these two things up here. These uh, water heat ba air balloons. Heat balloons, air balloons. Chapter 1, Scraping the Barrel. Okay. Let's get to work. Captain is dead as he as he weakened. The growing divisions brought city maintenance to a grinding halt. Now New London is left to suffer the consequences. As steward, it is your charge to lead. But you must prove yourself. Overcrowded city is on low resources. Use this warmer year to build more shelters, secure coal, and power the generator back on. Let's get to work. Uh, what do we have over here? Generator is disabled. Let's have a look at what we have. Holy crap, that's a lot of resources. We got some food over this way. Is that an, a fertile soil? Amount 84k. That looks like infinite. Deep fertile soil. So I'm guessing that's going to last a pretty damn long time. Amount 100 million. Lovely. So there's some materials there. Where is the coal? Is the coal over here? Is this coal? It's abandoned ruins. There's some prefabs. Frozen. Fr oh, we've got no coal here. Shadow iron vein. Am I losing my mind? There's the coal. Coal's over here. So we should break off into this direction. Are these two coal as well? Yes. So let's start breaking off into the direction of these coal mines. And start heading. We need to start turning on that straight away. Turn on our generators. That should be the first thing we do. But we should also get some food set up. But we've got some materials over here. We will ice break this direction. And grab these guys up. Uh, and then we can sort of... I don't think we can go out in this way. Can we go... We have none of this. Oh, we can start breaking these down. Okay. So what do we have over here? These are materials. 
endless materials we do want to head off in let's grab this fertile land over here and then we can just sort of scoot over to these ones uh we should the same frost break to a shallow coal steam seam sorry steam and um, construction uh, turn the generator on construct new housing districts to address the lack of shelter okay so we do this is frost breaking right now so let's get out of that frost breaking we will start building some housing here in a second but i want to grab extraction district logistics okay that's cool industrial lovely so let's grab these guys uh can i put them overlapping on these or not oh, we can let's get all of this extraction district done now what we need to do is actually build some housing districts so we will can we build here yeah we can it just didn't feel like it was connected at all we'll put those housing districts in here we need to build two housing districts are we over to this area over here now I can't see because I've got a bloody steam pop up in a corner there. Uh, we've got some materials here. Do we want to build an extraction district? What is that? Sends China expeditions to the Frostlands Transport Services. Do we have one of those already? We need to build some more housing. Can we build the housing directly out of here? Um, no. Can we build it in here? Nope. Okay. Let's grab some more housing in here. So we have our two housing districts. We've got the coal. Those are building right now. We probably need to find us some more prefabs here soon. Okay. Let's slow it down. Expanding the districts. You can expand districts to increase their scale both in terms of certain capabilities. Expanding districts are more efficient and provide additional building slots. Select the district to open a panel and click this expand button. I wish I knew that before district is this a housing central district can we expand it affecting other districts we can't expand this one i don't believe it does have an empty building slot though so can we expand these what's this here uh da, da, da. expand the district we can't overlap there but maybe we can start let's turn you on now we can generator on Scraping the barrel. Good work, Stuart. We have secured a new coal deposit as part of the last vein in New London. There are still some supplies left. What was that noise? But they won't last for long. We'll need to improve our mining to use it efficiently, but the city's communities are voicing different ideas about how to do it. We need to decide whose ideas are worth pursuing. We must choose a solution. Okay. We've got several different relations down there now. That's turning on at least. We do need more heat. The steward appreciates all your adoring letters and will answer personally in due time. That was, <laughs> that was a bit much. We got some minor disease. Let's see what we need to go out. Um, there's an old way station. Materials, prefabs are over here. Let's go and make our way through to some prefabs. Okay, let's get over here. Uh, do we have more prefabs over here? There's more prefabs in this direction. So we'll just cut through. We'll open up this so we can expand. Well, these ones are already open, I believe. But we can build these. Let's do an extraction district here. One, two, three. There we go. Extraction district. Can... Do we have some more we need to build around here? No. So let's just quickly break through and open this area up a little bit. And we can expand you. Can we expand you? It doesn't look like... What's this here? Squalor. Near extraction district. So you get more squalor, but you get plus 20 heat. Hmm. How much do we have in the way of workforce? 2,600 distraction districts. So we expand the housing district. We need to do that as part of the quest. Let's expand that over here. Can we get you to go anywhere? What's that? Oh, that's just going to be part of the housing. Oh, I had a little bit of lag there. Let's break some of this out of the way so we can get this up here. 
We've got a bit of a... What's this over here? A generator awakes. A child is born. People gather around the generator tower as it wakes with a thundering shadow and bestows heat on us yet again. This is the heart of the city. Our last line of defense against the cold. Our first hope for a future. Any future. Steward, there's a couple who says their first child, a daughter, was born at the exact moment the generator sprang to life again. They called her Lily May. They asked... Uh, Double-barreled names. They asked that you bless her. You gave us hope back. Thanks to you, our child may yet have a future ahead of her. Very well. Lily May. Okay, people are hopeful there is a future after them after all, after we had a little bit of a bebe. Right, let's finish this frost breaking and building over here. We do need to expand this housing district. Expand you out. Uh, let's just try and keep as much as we can there. Right, we need to get these more prefabs. There's more prefabs up here. So let's extract these prefabs. We need them to build... Kind of sucks you have to build six there, but could we have just expanded that? We could have done it. God damn it. Extractors. Make it as big as possible. We'll try and do that afterwards. I'll have a quick look at that. What's this over here? Undergoing expansion. We're going to need more food. How is our food looking? Absent stable. We've got good food. Disease minor. Significantly increased by cold. We need to make some more heat. How much heat do we have right now? Can we get out of that and have a look at the heat demand? Total demand, total input. We've got more than enough heat, so I'm not really sure. We're stable for the moment. We'll probably need to expand out a little bit. Expand and existing. Let's just speed that up because we're okay for the moment. What's it asking? A research institute. Let's stick you over here. And build that up. Uh, research an idea for new coal mines. Research Institute constructed. We can now research ideas. A small crowd gathers outside the new research institute, arguing about how to exploit the last coal veins. The stalwarts and the new Londoners wants to learn lean on new on machine powered mining. But the frostlands would have us pursue a more frugal solution. Uh, they would never display such discord under the captain's rule. You have to choose who to entrust with developing their idea. Uh, show me our options. The communities of New London have different perspectives. You may not be able to please everyone. Let's have a look at the idea tree. We need new ideas to move forward. However, different communities may propose diverging answers to the same issue. They will only pursue solutions that align with their worldview. Choosing a community to develop an idea will improve your relations with that community. Okay. So we're going into coal mines. Uh, no one else should dust coal mine. How can we have the slightly disease is slightly increased? Material demanded. Stalwart agrees with this idea. Uh, the new Londoners of forty-five percent of the city, twelve percent of the stalwarts blasting coal mine. Uh, Squalor is increased. Sixty materials granted. A coal output. One hundred and fifty disease is slightly increased. The Frostlanders or the new Londoners. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Squalor is increased with those, but disease is increased. So I might just go for Squalor because we have a pretty decent amount. Blasting coal mine. Or dust coal mine. It's less workforce as well. Ugh. I don't like these geezers. Progress. We will build machines to carve our place in ice. We'll improve ourselves with technology. Okay, that might be what I'm looking for, to be honest. Uh, okay, that one's also got the same. We will bend nature to our will, reason, merit, and progress. You know what? I'm going to go for that. <laughs> Remember to keep your heat lamp maintained. It might just save your life. These two are neutral right now. Uh, what do we have? Oh, we already did that one there. Construct new building. We've got the research institutes already built up. We're going to need some more of this stuff. Let's quickly bang our way through all of this. Because we can make that one big district. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that. Research and I did coal mines. Construct a new research building in the extraction district. Okay. We have eight weeks left on that. Let's build an extraction district here. Uh, we can put it on bop, 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 bop. And we'll do that. That should be enough. We can build some housing around now. What have we got over here? 
Admiring the generator, it's good to have you back, old chap. It was terrible fright to have you switched off. You're more than just a heat source to us, you know. To us, you're a symbol of what we should be, unbending, unyielding, and fortitude. May all was may all may we all stand so bold against the frost. Generators revered by the stalwarts. I kind of like the technology kind of way of looking at things, so maybe we'll run for it that way. Uh we have almost got this built. We need this one already done up. What's this over here? Okay. Can we expand you a little bit more? Do we need more housing at the moment? Or are we okay? We do need some more heat though. This is giving off heat or not? Let's see if we can attract these. Total demand. These 20 heat. It doesn't give off heat, the extraction district. What gives off heat? It will be these guys over here, I believe. Total demand. What do you need over here? Minus 20 heat demand. Okay. Kind of weird how it does it that way. What do we have over this side? We do have some more coal. We could start frost breaking our way out of here. What's in here? This is like... We can build some housing districts over this side. Let's grab all these bad boys up. Uh, duh, duh, duh. No, we won't do that one. We're going to crack on just a little bit more for a little while until that researching is done and we can build. We'll hopefully be able to... Help us keep you Let's have a look. And to the Near extraction the district. Building. Okay. But we do need to kind of get him to go off in that direction. Okay. We could probably build some housing over here so it's out of the wind. Okay, blasting coal mine. Let's see if we can get that central extraction. Blasting coal mine. We can build one there. Give us some more heat. Can we expand you out a little bit? Just to build out around the extractor so we can get some more heat involved in that there. We're getting cold. A place to settle differences. With a new mine, the impending doom of depleting coal is postponed, yet differences between the communities remain. We can captain. It falls to you, steward. To the people of New London want to want to say in how it's run the first decision whether you should continue to leave the city. We need a council. Okay. We need to go into the central council hall and we'll bang that down over there. Let's speed that up a little bit. What do we have on the whole front? We need to start heading out towards... I'm guessing we should head out towards some of this. We're going to need some more of this food. So let's try and get that unlocked with the tick. There it is. And what we'll do at the same time. I can't do any frost breaking because we need heat stamps. Okay. What we got here? First council session. Anticipation fills the air as the council opens. The captain ruled with a firm hand for years, but those times died with him. Now the communities of the city want their say. The stalwarts maintain order on the behalf of the captain and adhere to what they claim was his vision for New London, progress, merit, and reason. The New Londoners and Frostlanders clash over our survival strategy, though neither has a firm stance on economic or social issues. Then, the, then there are those who view the stalwarts with contempt for their role in New London's history, but they keep to the shadows for now. Open a session based on your handle on the coal crisis. The first decision is whether you should maintain your role as steward. Open a session. Let's have a quick... Ooh, that looks cool as hell. There's a lot more people in there than I would have thought. This kind of seems like the House of uh, Commons in England. Too many people sitting there doing nothing. Uh, when you return to the council in the future, you'll be able to propose new laws to vote upon. But for now, a special vote needs to happen. The communities of New London have to accept you as the leader. Be careful if you fail. This will be the end of your rule. We've got 422, 74 hesitant. Uh, let's have a look vote of no confidence should this uh, if the vote fails delegates will immediately remove you from office these guys like me man so what are you worried about man okay let's get out of there let's do a bit of negotiating so they got 45 they got 12 
Mostly hesitant and mostly hesitant. They got 45, so maybe we should try... The new Londoners... Vote... F they will vote for passing the law during the next vote. Okay. Vote for. Should have should have been in power. Let's see what we need to do. City development effort. Everyone must support the production of prefabs to help the expansion of the city. Main district produces a small amount of prefabs. Okay. Mechanized sawmill. A massive sawmill loading frozen wood directly into the mulching machines to separate unusable materials from bio-waste products. Okay. We can research the mechanized or ventilation tower. High powered mechanical fans to disperse foul air outside the city. Squatters decreased heat demand 40. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. We're gonna need more materials for sure. We'll research the mechanized sawmill. And that should give us a 57 and 4 against. And it doesn't really matter because it will. We'll just put the vote through. Let's see what happens. 51 required. And we have 57. We made it through. <laughs> At least we didn't the die within the first one already. It. Lovely. I see. Law passed. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Assured you shall remain then good. The challenges are ahead. Expanding coal extraction is a great success, but the vein will only last so long. We need to explore the frost land for a permanent source of fuel. Otherwise, the city will... What was... What's that noise? A law has passed okay. in the council. Sweet, Logistics district in, on an old way station. Okay, so that's going to be where we were trying to head before. We don't have enough heat stamps, though. We need more heat stamps. What's this? We needed to do... We don't have enough heat stamps for this either. Where was it? Generator upgrade. We'll have to wait for our heat stamps to go up a significant amount. Uh, build a permanent source of fuel outside the city. We can expand, you know. Research sawmill. Why is it not letting me play anything? Let's pause it. Do we have enough? We've got 52. Should we get you guys to expand? Can we expand you? Yes, we can. Let's expand you over here. We haven't got any of this opened up. I should have all of this open. Or oh, do we need to put a new district on there? Oof. What do we run out? Oh, we got less heat stamps. Okay. We're good. Let's try and wait for some heat stamps to go up. We are getting a pretty decent hour. Plus 14 a week. Colder season. The heat demand has increased. Okay. We've got surplus of heat. We're okay. We, we got a surplus of heat. We're all good. We are cutting it low on food. I didn't get any food going. Because I was being a little bit naughty. Uh, let's try and get you to go up towards that food over there. We'll just do a little bit of food up there because we're running low. It is... Oh, that's coal. We're running low on coal. That's really cool. That's really cool. That wasn't food. That was coal. We needed more coal. What's this over here? Council. Council and recess. Six days left. New law available. Okay. We'll wait until that new law comes up. What can we make over here? We need to make another extraction. Can we... Can we... No, we can't. Okay. Let's just build another one. Extraction district. We'll go bop, bop. Uh, bop, bop, bop. We'll have that in there. Plus 20 heat. We've got a load of heat, but we need to get more of that coal up and running. We also need to start... We can't frost break right now because we're still running low. Need some cores soon. We've got food. we got coal demand. We're st not stockpiling the coal. Stockpiling. We'll be filled. Are we going up? We're going up. We're good. We're going up. Okay. We're at plus 15. It's going the right way. we got a surplus of heat. Let's pause this real quick. Can we go into frost breaking yet? We need 200 workforce. It means we need more housing, but I can't build more housing. Because we need 200 workforce. Okay. 6% of the population. Employed, available, blasting coal mine. We've got 3,000 extraction districts. Can we turn this down a little bit? Is this coal? What are we getting out of this? 
We're getting 20 prefabs. Let's turn this down a little bit because we've got a lot of prefabs right now. Let's try and give ourselves a decent amount so we can build some more... Let me go up this way. Let's head up because we need to get a permanent coal source. What's that there? Shallow iron vein materials. Okay. Rose in the forest. There's more materials there. We got some more coal down here. Um, what was it we needed to grab? Old way station. Research mechanized sawmill as well. We need to research mechanized sawmill. Where was it? Um, asbestos lining. They're all going to do that. Only 12%. There still was only 12% of the city. Sawmills. Here we go. Untreated, mechanized. It Was it mechanized sawmills we needed to grab? Or was it... Research mechanized sawmill. Okay. Just had to remember what that was then for a second. Uh, mechanized sawmill. We'll go with the... New, agree with this idea. Stalwarts agree with this idea. We're going to go with the stalwarts. And that should help us with getting more of our resources. Do we need to build? No, because we haven't got enough workforce for that. Okay. Do we have enough workforce to build housing districts? Yes, we do. Keep your face can I make this bigger? Covered. I can indeed. How many extra slots? Do we go across here? And just build three. What we got? Looking for trouble. Cindy's pa went and got her, got her a governess. Like, she's going to be a duchess or something. <laughs> I'm trying to read it, and I'm from London. Not on our watch. We roughed up the little bitch, all right. Ferguson's boys all learned this, too. If they're trying to wife us again tonight, we'll put razors and say we'll cut out their eyes. It'll be good fun. But what we want is a proper ramble. Short blades only. Come on, who wants to play? Me. I want to play. The lack of a law regulating childhood is causing tension to rise. Okay, we need to do a law. Law proposal available. Uh, rule. Guard enforcers. Gu guide, guided voting. Unlocks guided voting procedure. What was it we were looking for? We were looking for childhood rules. Uh, family apprenticeship. Percentage of active workers has increased. That I want a lot of. So who we got this against us? We got 12 against hesitant. Let's negotiate. Uh, has active promise against their worldview. Oof. Open to negotiate. Okay, these won't negotiate. These are open to negotiate. What do they want? Vote for. Everyone must aid expeditions by helping them prepare for their journeys. Expedition time is slightly decreased. Uh, law expedition support. We can grab that. Mass filtration tower. Need some more heat demand. Or cleaning harvest to hangar. Harvesting efficiency goes up. Exploring time slightly decreased. We will accept that. We're going to need that anyway. So we'll enact the law afterwards. We have got more than enough now, I believe. So let's vote. See what happens. Family apprenticeships. And we... <laughs> oh, okay. We're good. We're good. It went up. 75-4? Okay. We do need to pass expedition support, and that will be in nine weeks and six days. What we got over here? Oh, it already knows we've got to do that. Uh, let's... Pause it real quick. What's this over here? Dense housing is undergoing expansion. The delegates have reached a decision. A new law takes hold. Right, we need to get over there real quick. Because uh, we're starting to run out. Let's uh, bang all this out. Okay. Frost breaking that over there. And we'll get... Uh, so we can go and get a decent amount of coal in the area. I'm actually going to put a cut in here before we... We'll get, actually, you know what? We'll put this logistics thing down over here. If we've got enough. I think we have enough. We'll put this logistics thing down over here. And it needs six. So we'll go boop, 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 boop. And we'll place this down. And then we'll put a cut in there at the end of this. It is saving. Put a cut in. We've got the research going for the mechanized sawmill. So that we haven't got much time left on it. Okay, New London's demands met. The New London's are delighted you kept your word. Now look upon your rule more positively and consider you a leader with integrity relations with New London's approved. Lovely jubbly. Okay, what do we how are we looking on that? Frostlanders. Choose the next law to be voted on in the council. Community, 3450. We're neutral with those. We are favorable with the stalwarts, and we are neutral with the New Londoners. 
Do we have favors? Raise funds. Relationships, worth and trust. Make promise. Grant agenda. I think we're going to... I'll have a look at that when Don't we get into the next part. Population growth. From the Lovely. Measured on how fast your city grows. In so we've gone up a little learn. bit. Oh, we got a lot now. We got a lot of stuff to build and get out of there. We're going to put a cut in here. This is going to be end of the first episode. We are in New London right now, fixing it up, trying to get ourselves some coal. We have 184 weeks at current rate um, to get a better place to go out and explore and grab some coal. We'll do that in the next episode. Make sure to shut me down a comment and a like. If you do enjoy my content, make sure to let me know if you want to see more of Frostpunk 2. We have this game set up and going. I will be playing it regardless. But if you want to see it, that will definitely be something that I would love to do. I want to thank you all for watching. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the